Your Excellency, was OPEC pressured by U.S. officials to delay the production cuts until after the midterm elections? And a follow-on to that, you spoke a little bit about this being a unanimous decision. Did the UAE, though, have any hesitancy in making a call for production cuts? Because we've seen various reports in the press. And frankly, do you believe that it's wrong for the Biden administration and for Congress to be calling out Saudi Arabia and other OPEC members and essentially threatening them over this decision? Hadley, I will state the facts. First, take the, the information from the source. And the source is the ministry or the Minister of Energy. Let's not take any uh, speculations as a source. We are very professional, and we always uh, keep the media informed. I tweeted, and I guess my tweet was very clear. It's a reiteration that UAE supported the technical decision of OPEC on the technical merits of that decision. And there is nothing political about that. And that is my answer. So, so we are not politicizing the, the decisions. And I will not talk about politics. I will not comment on countries. What I can tell you is that this is a, an organization that has lasted, OPEC lasted for 60 years. And we've been taking all of our decisions on the same professional uh, way that we are taking them, technical decisions. and. I have explained in the answer of the previous question why that decision was a was it was a technical decision. But 